That was Charlie's bed. QVC. But the difference is you can spread the. Okay. And of course, it's the morning after we've destroyed it. That was Charlie's bed. And then there are the three of us. Cool ceiling. Here's the bathroom. We're on the Via Vincenza in downtown Rome. And there is it's Doug and Charlie in front of the Hotel Canada where we stayed last night. It's our first day. St. Mary's Basilica. And Doug was here. Marvelous Roman antiquities. And here we have McDonald's. Do, 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 do. Chris. McDonald's. Chris, go get up there by that McDonald's door and wave at me. Quick. Whoa, dude. And here Chris is headed to his favorite Roman antiquity. This is the lobby of the hotel in Rome where the tour starts from. It's quite a nice place. And there's Chris playing with his Game Boy. And there's Grandpa. And there's Miss Jewel. Oh, here's this rag sign. And Philly. Palatine Hill. You see, this is what is left. 
of the palaces where the ancient emperors would live. But you know, in same, for centuries and centuries, what was left uh, standing after the destructions and so on was all taken out by the Romans themselves. Dead. And this Dead. went on, <laughs> proclaimed the Colosseum a holy place because he said here many martyrs were killed. So this has to be treated as a church. And for this reason only, sponges and obviously everything is damaged by this. That's why there is a big need of uh, care. And thank God uh, the government, the national government, not the Roman one, but the national government has decided for a new wave of, uh, 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 let's say, of care, of uh, restoration to the temple of Elagabalus, an emperor of the third century. <laughs> are here in front of us. This is the valley of the Forum. 800 years before Christ, this was a marsh. The ancient Rome, the prehistorical Rome, was up there on the Palatine. Romulus and Remus and the shield, all that story I told you already, all happened up there. When uh, the city of Rome started to spread, they conquered, they started to use the, the hill in front of us called the Capitol, and there there was the temple of Jupiter. Soon uh, the marsh here in the middle was... And so the emperors after Augustus, whenever they wanted to add a new yes. monumental section or something, did it uh, after the valley of... The... Is but for three columns, the temple of Castor and Pollux. You should... Uh, Remember the image I showed before. Then there are buildings like this one, which are perfectly preserved. This happened because, well, I do not hide the fact that it was right to pull the column down sometimes in the Middle Ages. You notice the signs made for the roads. But since they didn't succeed in pulling the columns down, probably to build, uh, well, God knows how many medieval churches there are here, and not a single column was carved because there were everywhere, you know? And you know, so this temple was, due, was used for the church of St. Lawrence. Now, obviously they didn't jump to get in. Scott dog rescued from a can, previous sinking. Can you move there? And Captain Schwieger's gramophone. sort of uh, health care connection between uh, this island uh, and the Roman inhabitants.
We will see now a bridge on the left hand side, another ancient Roman bridge, which is uh, scaffolding, was uh, used as a fortress, surrounded by a curtain of walls and crowned by a tower with the statue of the angel on my glass cage. Here, you see? This glass and cement cage. There is a... In 1000 years ago, this was a cemetery. And here, the Roman Empire was built on this Christians uh, that were in Rome at that time buried St. Peter. Few Christians, I said, because they started to be persecuted exactly in that year under the Emperor Nero. And during the first persecution, one of the victims was St. Peter himself. And he was buried as a regular Roman uh, person. No, no, he was uh, buried in this cemetery, and only the Christians knew where the tomb was. Only when uh, then the Emperor Constantine you get me? gave uh -huh. the Christians freedom of worship in the year 313 AD, See, the, the first the thing that was done uh -huh. was to build the church, a basilica, as I was saying before, on top of St. Peter's tomb. And uh, this church lasted uh, more than uh, 11 centuries. But at that time, the Vatican was uh, accepted in 1546. And the project this, even if also Michelangelo was, uh, in a sense, also Michael. statues in this church, probably nobody has counted them one by one. And there is only one statue that represents St. Peter. St. Peter, well, Peter wouldn't understand. Get, on, get closer. taken out by the army of the Emperor Titus from the Temple of Solomon before the destruction. So, the Renaissance artists, tomorrow I will show you in the Vatican Museum, the Renaissance artists, whenever they had to represent the Temple
this is all, this is all, uh, let's say, everlasting things, including the altar, it's the 16th and the middle of the 19th century. Probably the most beautiful is this tomb of Florence, and uh, he was a manager, so one of the greatest scientists of that time. And this tomb made by the greatest sculptor alive at that moment, Alessandro Aldati, was made for to choose uh, uh, a crest, his own uh, motto, you know, his own sentence. So the others choose the... I just think the keys are very Stairs we have to go up. There's Dan. Just me on bathrooms, but uh, health clubs. The Roman baths were public baths because only the very, 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 very rich ones had bath at home. Immaculate conception. the hallway just before the Sistine Chapel, but can't film in the Sistine Chapel. So. Thank you. 
This is outside the Sistine Chapel. It's incredibly huge. Huge globe. areas of Italy, even because now okay, we're on the bus going to Florence and Camillo Benzo, Count of Cavour, 1860, the reunification of Italy. So imagine, 4,000 years of history, but Italy is in existence only since 1860. So we are only as a nation, after the downfall of the Roman Empire, only about 100 years old. Thousands of years of history, which what really Italy had in common and always present was Rome. So it had to go. Rome is not on the sea, right? Sweet. So you don't have an idea. If you use them for 10 minutes, they want $300.
will stop. Police is being a little bit annoying about the speed that they, <laughs> that they want us to use for floating the boat. Now, as we get off the bus, I'll direct you to... Okay, come this way some more. Take one of me. <laughs> this is the leaning tower. Our pizza from the back is leaning down away from us. Huge lead weights. Finally, if you listen to the end of what I said, you're not interrupting me. It's recording now. I didn't you say do. it didn't take. Well, you got a flick camera? Mm-mm. You, you, you left yours on the bus and I brought my one. I brought my one. He's got one. Take one. 